Okay, hello One Piece fans. This is Sensei Roshi back at it again with another One Piece theory vid. And with this video, if I can convince you by the end of this video that Luffy's Gear 5th is an incomplete form, then you have to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. All right, do we have a deal? Okay, so Luffy's Gear 5th is incomplete. Now, let me tell you why before a bunch of you go and reference the manga where it states that Luffy's at its peak and at its best and da 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 da. Keep in mind, Luffy's fruit is a Zoan type devil fruit. That means there is two other forms other than its natural state. There's the hybrid form and there's the full form. I believe Luffy's current gear fit form is the hybrid form because it, it it resembles Luffy. When he transforms into it, you're you're able to recognize him. But I didn't make this vid to talk about the design about the design of what the full transformation would be. I made this video to talk about what the ability of this devil fruit would be. Now, again, I want to state that Luffy's current Gear 5th is a hybrid form. It's not his full form because he is a Zoan. Zoans get two other forms. They get a hybrid form and they get a full form. Luffy's hybrid form is able of doing anything he's able to imagine. So, his full form must be one step beyond that. And what is one step beyond imagination? It's madness. Now, before y'all say I'm pulling this shit out of my ass, let's look at the facts. Fact one, when Luffy goes into gear fifth, he laughs uncontrollably. And, it's, and it seems like he's barely able to control his mannerisms. But for the most part, he's, co uh, he's cognitive. Fact two, when a Zoan it goes awakened, they lose control, i.e. monster point chopper, or the impaled down guards. This would be another reason for Luffy to go mad or go insane, because when he actually awakens his fruit, he has to go insane. He has to lose control in this Jekyll and Hyde thing. The ability to think of and create what others couldn't dream of I, I just think it's funny how Luffy's actual dream is kept secret and it sounds to be so outlandish that it's something other people couldn't even fathom, only something Luffy could understand. It is an idea that it's just so Luffy. When Luffy goes into his gear fifth, he becomes Joy Boy, the former user of the fruit that did God knows what with the fruit or at the very least is connected to the one piece but no one asks why doesn't luffy take the personas of the other people who've eaten this fruit why the first person who ate this fruit or at least one of the earlier people who ate this fruit like why is it just joy boy has no one else eaten this fruit in 800 years you're telling me no one else ate this fruit why does he take on the persona of one of the earliest people who ate this fruit that's what no one is talking about with his gear fit when everyone awakens their zoan fruit or any of their devil fruits they don't take on the persona of the previous owner maybe sabo says a couple things like ace here and there blah 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 but they don't take on the persona where like a fucking talking elephant calls the main character by the former user of the fruits name okay so if you guys made it this far into the video please leave a like uh, the video isn't over. I still have more content on this theory, but if I, if you made it this far into the video, please leave a like to support the video. Okay, now back to the theory. That leaves me to believe that no one else has fully unlocked this fruit. And to fully unlock this fruit, you have to go mad. You have to tap into madness to fully transform into the full Zoan form of this fruit. I personally think someone's going to have to die for Luffy to go that mad. Now, maybe it's a straw hat, but the most likely candidates to die to trigger Luffy's madness 
would be number one, Sabo. Sabo is Luffy's only remaining brother. It would be a very hard hit to the chest. No one really likes Sabo. No one really miss if he was gone. I'm speaking as the fan base. No one really would miss Sabo that much. So Oda could kill him and it would, you know, remain that heavy hit for Luffy. Number two would be Usopp. Now I can see Usopp sacrificing himself, you know, to save the day, to cement himself as one of those brave warriors of the sea, you know, fulfill his dream, maybe protect the ship. I don't know. But I can see Usopp sacrificing himself to save Luffy. And that could trigger some sort of madness when Usopp dies. Now, number three is a toss-up between Shanks and Rayleigh. Now, Rayleigh is a big maybe. Shanks, if Shanks died before Luffy gave him back the hat, that would definitely trigger an episode for Luffy. I don't see why that wouldn't. And I don't see why anyone else wouldn't buy that that would trigger madness. This man traveled the entirety of the Grand Line and most of the New World to give this man his hat back. And he fucking died. I would throw a fit. I know I would. I mean, I can't speak for, you know, the main MC of a shonen. But I would throw a fit, you know. And those are the most likely three, you know, or four candidates that would probably die that trigger, you know, Luffy's madness. Now, I don't think Rayleigh would die personally. I mean, because he wouldn't hit as hard as the other three. But Rayleigh, I just wanted to throw his name in the hat because if he died, it wouldn't significantly change the story. But, you know. It also wouldn't hit you in the gut like any of the other people. Now, that's my explanation of how Luffy would tap into the ability. Now, what I think the ability can do, these are the most likely scenarios. In scenario number one, Emus tries to strike down another island like he did to the one that Sabo was on with that like vampire king or whatever the fuck it is. And, like, Luffy turns the island into rubber and bounces back the ancient weapon beam, like, back into the sky. How fucking epic would that be if Luffy turned an entire island into rubber and bounced back an ancient weapon that, that destroys a fucking island? How badass would that be? Number two. Is that Blackbeard gets his hands on some Pluton, shoots it at the red line, and Luffy turns the entire red line into rubber and bounces the beam back. I don't know. But, like, if Luffy really can't tap into madness, I don't see why he can't have environmental control. I don't see why he can't turn anything into rubber that he puts his mind to. And it could bounce back any ancient weapon, any beam, any you know, you know, death destroyer whatever attack. But food for thought. I think madness is Luffy's full zone form. And I hope this video has convinced you as to why a Zoan fruit user is not complete in his hybrid form. I hope this video has convinced you. And if it did, please pay up and leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. If it did not, please comment why it did not. Please comment why this theory does not make sense. And if you think it does make sense, but you disagree with who would die, if you think Zoro would die, personally, I don't think Zoro would die, because what the fuck are you gonna do without Zoro? You know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, just my opinion. But if you think someone else dies, um, you know, instead of my three characters, please comment below. I really want to hear your opinions. I really want to make this a healthy discussion. Please comment below and I will be in the comments. Much love. Thank you so much. Sensei out.